Hello friends, uh, greetings from Iceland. I'm back at the eruption site for the 45th time exploring it together with Nina. We came this morning, this afternoon and uh, already spent a few hours here and now we're walking up to the volcano. Here you see a uh, not high valley just behind my back. You see I was flying drone here and I did a good scan, 15 minute scan. I will upload video soon. As you know, uh, Iceland volcano is unactive. Nothing is happening still. And it's quite a long time it's unactive. It's already soon 14 days. 14 days we don't have uh, lava coming from the volcano, which is a significant period. The last uh, time it erupted it was uh, on uh, September 18. So it's, it's quite a significant period. They were saying if uh, it doesn't erupt for 14 days, uh, it won't erupt again. But I don't know. You know, we had so many earthquakes last days that uh, it must uh, something to happen very soon because uh, we had similar earthquakes uh, also before the eruption started in spring. So there is a reason behind those earthquakes. See, the helicopters flying here. It's very hard to fly drone uh, with helicopters because they disturb you during the flight. You have to lower the altitude all the time. So it's a really nice weather. I will show you what is going on here. Turn the camera. See how beautiful we weather we have today. It's so unusual for Iceland uh, to have such weather. Especially in the autumn. We do have some days like this, but mostly it rains. You know, Iceland has... A, Lots of rain. Uh, we have um, on average uh, half a month's precipitation, more or less. It rains or snows during the year for 15 days on average. The amounts of precipitation can vary, of course, but uh, this is how Iceland looks today. Wonderful, wonderful views we have. And this is the wall that Lau went over at Trail A. You see it almost went down into this vast valley, call it not Haga Creeky. So I'm going to fly a drone over the volcano. So far I've been flying it here in that high valley and also through the passage. But I didn't manage to reach the volcano because um, uh, I've been losing contact with the drone. I need to get closer on the hill to reach the volcano to see what is inside very soon you will know and we will explore it you know tremors have been rising and during the past days there is a chance that there must be some eruption so we're going to check it and, and but if there is no eruption it's no big deal you know i don't have to do the hikes <laughs> and, but i know all people are excited about this volcano and I will do my best to to report what is going on here still because uh, lots of tourists still come into Iceland and, and uh, uh, the place remains popular despite there is no eruption. We parking lots are full of cars, you know, so uh, the is very touristic place now in Iceland. It's perhaps the most interesting touristic place. Uh, for any tourists to see in Iceland, because where do you see the formation of new earth? This is new earth that just got formed, you know. Um, there is some excavator working on the top of Long, Long Ridge next to them, uh, next to the antennas. You see, live cam is there. You see, people are on trail C. And here you see excavator. The question is how he got there. It's quite remarkable. Uh, I guess he got there from behind, or I don't know, maybe he drove all the way by that ridge. I don't think so. It's kind of too much to to drive up. I don't know. Perhaps he was dropped with helicopter. <laughs> it's a question. Anyway, here is the trail A and that lava went over. So we keep exploring volcano. I wish you all the best. Greetings from Iceland.